Hello everyone, my name is Nicole with LadyPreferstoSave.com and today I want to take you along in the making of my favorite, favorite new vegan breakfast option and that is overnight apple pie chia seed pudding. It's absolutely delicious, costs around a dollar per serving to make and is super simple enough that you could make this on Sunday and prep it for the whole week. It's also a great fall breakfast, has a lot of seasonal flavors and the best part Everybody in my family likes it, and I think your family will like it too. So let's go on and see what we need to get this recipe started. Okay, to get started making the apple jam portion, you are going to need six large apples, three quarters cup of organic apple juice or cranberry juice. I went with cranberry juice. Four tablespoons chia seeds, two teaspoon of cinnamon, a cinnamon stick for garnish, one teaspoon pure vanilla extract, a pinch of Himalayan sea salt, a half a cup of gluten-free organic rolled oats, one and a fourth cup of some kind of nut milk, I went with almond, but help yourself to any that you have on hand, two teaspoons of stevia, and a fourth cup of chopped walnuts. You'll start by making your apple jam, which is gonna be the sweetness for this awesome breakfast. As you can see, I started by coring, peeling, and slicing all of my apples. If there's a little bit of skin left, that's okay because it's gonna be cooked in the pressure cooker. If you don't have a pressure cooker, then by all means, you can go and do the same thing on stovetop in your Instapot. You could also do it in a crock pot, or you could even do it in a rice cooker or microwave. Very simple to make. Again, I went with my pressure cooker on a 15 minute cycle. And what you're gonna do is take all of your finished apples, you're either gonna put all the other ingredients on top of them, you're gonna put it in your cycle, and when they're done, there's your apple jam. It's also really, really great on pancakes and other things, and a great vegan option for those who want something a little bit of a lower glycemic level. As you can see, all the apples were finished, everything was put into the pressure cooker, 15 minute cycle, and then transferred right over to the refrigerator, and then let's start the pudding. To make your rolled oats, you are going to take your oats, your milk, your half of your chia seeds, half of your cinnamon, your stevia, and your vanilla, and then you are going to mix them all together. And at that point, as soon as they're completely incorporated, you'll put them in the refrigerator. I like to also note that if you like your mix a little bit on the thinner side in the morning, you can go ahead and add an extra bit of milk. If you want a little bit thicker, you can add some extra seeds to it just to thicken it up a bit. This is a really versatile recipe. This can be used in lots and lots of breakfast. It's great. Both my husband loves this, the kiddo loves it, so this is an all around great family breakfast for us. This is gonna cost you pennies to make this, and I find it really, really filling. Since I've gone to a plant-based diet, this has been one of my go-to recipes, and as you can see, it will start to thicken up because the chia seeds are gonna absorb all that wonderful almond milk, and you will be good to go for your breakfast. In the refrigerator it goes, and in the morning it will be ready to put together, and I will take you along on how I go ahead and do that. But for right now, those are all your ingredients, ready, done, and prepped. So the next morning, I just go ahead and chop up some walnuts, and then it's ready to assemble the pudding. I usually start with a mason jar funnel, and go ahead and layer in the apple jam. And to that, I will add a layer of the overnight oats. As you can see, they're nice and creamy and thick on top of the jam. And then, of course, a layer of walnuts. And then you'll just keep layering until you are finished with your jar. Now, the recipe is enough to fill two jars, so that's always something good. And considering how easy this is, this is something that once a week, on, say, a weekend prep, you could go ahead and do a week's worth of breakfast. I like mine cold. Some people you know, might want to heat up their jam when they're doing this. That's completely up to you. I think it's good either way. And then once you are at the top of your jar, you will go ahead and place in a few walnuts and your last minute garnish. This has been my go-to breakfast this season and I really like it. It is very reminiscent of both apple pie you have a lot of wonderful fall seasonings, and I think the addition of the cranberry juice really brings out the tartness and the sweetness of the apples. I really like the pairing together, and I find that this really satiates my sweet tooth, and I really don't have a huge craving 
for any kind of additional sweets during the day, which I used to have when I wasn't eating a mostly plant-based diet. And as you can see, of course, again, when you get back to the top of the jar, you'll go ahead and place your walnuts on top and garnish with a cinnamon stick, of course. You know, if you weren't doing this for company, you wouldn't need a cinnamon stick. You could just go ahead and put on your jar ring and lid and put those back in the refrigerator. But, you know, it's kind of a really pretty thing to do for breakfast. And there you can see, there is the finished pudding. Super simple, quick to make, very inexpensive, and super, super tasty. And that's it guys, that's how it looks. How incredibly delicious does that look? You have to make that this season and let me know if you like it after you've made it. Okay guys, that's it. That's how easy it is to make that pudding at home. I hope you all will try it and if you do, please leave me a comment below and let me know how you like it. Also, be sure to turn on notifications. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you liked the pudding and would like to see more. And subscribe to the channel so that you get all the new recipes coming out next month. So thank you for watching and as always be kind to yourself and to others and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks guys.